It's time for my second video in my monthly Steal Her Style series. Last time I asked you who you wanted me to steal the style from next and many of you voted for Emmanuel Alt. By the way, I'm not sure if I pronounced her name correctly, so if there are any French girls around, please correct me because I'm probably wrong. Um, but if you don't know who she is, she's the editor-in-chief for the French Vogue magazine. This video was so fun to make because I love her style. As many of you have probably already figured out, I'm a huge fan of women with effortless style and Emmanuel is no different. I feel like the ultimate kit you need in your wardrobe to cover your style is a couple of crisp shirts, some cropped jeans, a belt and a pair of pointed pumps, then you're there. I think one of the reasons why some women seem to get away with this effortless kind of style is because they put effort into just the right amount of things, you know what I mean? Like the shirt should be casually half tucked into your jeans, but it should be nicely ironed. And you may keep your makeup on a minimal, but at least your skin looks dewy and healthy. So really, I think everyone can get on board with this effortless kind of style. You just need to find the little loopholes so that you kind of look like you just roll out of bed, but you did actually put a little effort into your look. And also remember to pay some attention to simple little details. Um, Emmanuel doesn't wear a ton of jewelry, but she does wear some and it definitely makes a huge difference. For makeup, I'm kind of doing the same thing as I do on a daily basis, but now that I've gotten a little bit more tan, I tend to go much more lightweight with my foundation because I actually like my skin um, the way it looks right now. This is a light coverage foundation from Clinique and I only apply a thin layer in the center of my face, so under my eyes, around my nose, on my chin and a little between my brows. This is actually something I learned from one of the coolest French girls on YouTube called Violette. I'll make sure to link her channel below, so go check that out. So notice that I didn't put any foundation on my nose or anything because that just gives a really natural look, especially if you have freckles or something like that during summertime. It just looks so natural and so pretty, but you still get that kind of more even skin tone. I only use concealer to cover up blemishes and red spots, so no concealer under the eyes or anything like that. Um, and I'm also skipping powder today just because I want my skin to be really dewy and fresh. I could leave my eyebrows and only apply a bit of uh, clear brow gel, but I usually like to define the shape just a little bit um, and then making hair-like strokes on the, the areas that are kind of sparse. Then I only apply one layer of mascara and I tap it lightly on the bottom lashes just to give them some definition along the waterline but not really to elongate them. As the last step I finish with a bit of blush and then some highlighter for that extra dewy glow. Now that I didn't apply any powder or anything, I would recommend bringing a concealer with you to have in your purse just for touch-ups during the day. And then also I think it's important to keep your eyebrows in shape all day, so I would definitely also bring my brow gel to touch up my brows during the day. Emmanuel mostly wear her hair down, parted in one side, and on most of the pictures I've seen she kind of has a straight um, hairdo, but with a light bend towards the tips. So that's basically what I'm trying to do here, um, just get those tips under control so they don't point in every direction. This hairstyle literally took like five minutes to do and normally I never do my hair like this. I always pull out my curling iron or my curling wand, but I really love to do it like this. I think I'm gonna do this more often.
And then I'm of course using one of my absolute favorite hair products to finish off with. I've actually stopped using hairspray after adding this product to my hair collection because it gives a great hold and just gives you this messy effortless finish. I feel like look number one is kind of my own signature look because it features a striped top. <laughs> I've added a pair of Mary Jane heels from my occasional wear wardrobe, but they are suitable for everyday wear too. Don't forget to add a belt to roll up the sleeves on your blazer and wear your striped top half tuck into your jeans. That's kind of the key details for this very Parisian look. Next up we have another typical Emmanuel uniform. And I love, love, love this look. <laughs> Again, wear your shirt half tucked into your jeans. Don't forget that belt and casually roll up your sleeves and then put on your pointed pumps. The third and final look suits my summer capsule perfectly because I recently just pulled out an old pair of lace-up sandals from my stored summer clothes. And I cannot wait to rock this look. The weather is not really suitable for it right now, but I'm hoping that the sun will come out again soon here in Denmark. Again, I feel like this look is so Parisian chic because of the high-waisted crop trousers and the belts and then the shirt tucked completely into the pants. I decided to add a straw hat from last summer to my look just because it adds that extra summer feeling to this all black look. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that I'm sure to have you around in all of my videos. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!